Today I'm sharing 20 affordable gifts under $20 that you can get from Amazon. They're gonna be perfect when you wanna acknowledge someone but you don't wanna break the bank. These are gonna work great for teachers, host or hostess gifts, maybe a neighbor. They could also be combined with other gifts. So if you do wanna spend a little bit more, these might give you some ideas of something that's maybe a little bit more unique and could be added to another gift. All the items I'm sharing today, either I personally own and use or I've given as gifts with a lot of compliments. So either people are lying to me and they don't really like them or they've been good gifts. The first item is a candle wick trimmer and dipper set. These often come with a snuffer as well. My set that I have personally doesn't have a snuffer and I don't miss it, but I love having the trimmer and the dipper. Why have these products? So number one, candle wicks burn best when they are trimmed to a third of an inch. And the easiest way to do this is with a trimmer. It's really hard to get scissors in there and trim the wick to that desired level. And the candles will burn better and more efficiently when the wicks are trimmed. If the wicks are really long, maybe you've seen this before, but they create a lot of soot and don't burn as well. And the dipper actually puts out the candle by dipping the lit wick into the wet wax to eliminate the flame. One, when you blow a candle out, it can spray wax, especially if you're not working within a contained glass candle like this one. So number one, soot gets into the air and you don't wanna be breathing that. And number two, soot can actually create spots on your ceiling. So for both of those reasons, these are great gifts. The snuffer is another alternative to putting out the candle. I've had my set for a number of years and I love it and use it all the time. Item number two is a rechargeable via USB candle lighter. And I will say I have quite a few of these. And the reason is um, one, when the charge goes down, I don't wanna have to wait for it to be recharged before I use it again, because I really use them all the time. And then two, I like them in different places in the house and I have some up at the cabin too. But I use these all the time. I've actually gone through a few different versions of these and I like this one with the bendable neck because it really can get deep into a glass container. I almost didn't put this one in this gift guide because I figured everybody had seen these by now. But I was hosting book club a month or so ago and I went to light my candle using this and my friends looked at me and said, what is that? I thought maybe people haven't seen this before. So this could be a really good idea for a gift. Both number one and number two could be combined into a bigger gift, either with each other or with a candle. And I have a great candle that I love to share. Now my personal favorite for a candle is something that's a little more personalized for them. And I think a lot of people have state pride. And so I think these state candles are really cute especially if somebody used to live in your state and they've moved away, you can send them a little reminder of the home that they left. So I think it'd actually be really cute to put all three of these first gifts together or mix and match or add your own candle, or of course they all stand alone as their own gifts. This exfoliating foot pack, I buy it a couple times a year and have for the last few years, ever since I heard about it. It does the most amazing things to your feet. You put it on, it's like a little sock and you sit with it on for 45 minutes while you're watching a TV show or something. And then you take it off and you think, okay, that's moisturizing. You you know rub it in and put a sock on and go to bed. Three to five days later, it's like your foot is a rattlesnake and you're taking off a layer of skin and underneath is a baby snake, but it's smooth. <laughs> craziest thing. I've given this as gifts before and people will call me after they've done the treatment and say like, I don't notice anything. And then a couple days later, they'll text or call and say, oh my gosh, Sierra, you're not going to believe how gross my foot is. It's like oddly satisfying when you peel that layer of dead skin off and you're left with the beautiful skin underneath. Trust the process, that's all I can say. There are three in this pack, so this also works really well to break apart and maybe use as stocking stuffers, or you can give all three to a single person. And of course, this works as a standalone gift, or if you wanted to pair it with some cozy socks or lotions, that would be totally appropriate and match the theme of this gift. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and your subscription would mean so much to me. Okay, shower steamers. Has everybody heard of shower steamers by now? Again, this is one that I thought everybody had heard of and had used and kind of liked already, but we were maybe past it. But then again, I was talking to somebody about it recently and they hadn't heard of it. So I'm gonna include it in here. These are little discs of scented compact, almost like a soap. But what happens is when you put them in the shower and the hot water starts hitting them, they create scented steam that goes up through the shower and creates a spa-like experience. I especially love the eucalyptus 
eucalyptus or lavender ones because they're the most reminiscent of spa scents, but I really like any scent. I think these are so fun to use and so fun to give. And because you go through them and use them up, even if somebody got them last year or had them in the past, it's not necessarily something that you buy for yourself on repeat. So it's always a good gift because they may have run out and are looking for new shower steamers. Item number six is my favorite smelling hand cream. It's called Ocean Gardenia, but it smells like sweet tarts. So you know those little candies that come in a roll at Halloween and they're little discs and they're all different pastel colors, sweet tarts. The smell of that is what this smells like. I don't know how that is called Ocean Gardenia, but you just have to trust me on how amazing this hand lotion smells. I don't even have any currently because I just used up my last bottle, but trust me on the scent of this. It's not rated super well on Amazon and I don't know why. I just don't think it's had a lot of reviews and the people that reviewed it maybe were expecting it to be Ocean Gardenia and not Sweet Tarts. Item number seven are the gold eye patches. If you have not tried eye patches before or given them to friends, Everybody loves an eye patch. And again, this is something that you use up either weekly or maybe you use it twice a week. And so if you are using eye patches, you can always use new ones. The gold ones are my favorite and it feels like self-care, self-indulgence, along with the shower steamers, along with the hand lotion, all three or two of those could go together if you wanted to put together a little self-care package, but I think they also work for a standalone gift. Okay, the state cutting board. I don't know why I love this idea so much. I guess, again, it's just state pride, but I think this is so cute to give to someone that either, again, has moved away and it's reminding them of the state that they left, or if someone just lives in another state to acknowledge their state. Everybody has state pride to a degree, and I think it's so fun to have a cutting board with your state on it. It's personalized and useful, and I just love the idea of it. I've given these as gifts multiple times. Of course, that state cutting board could be paired with a couple of knives or charcuterie items, really anything that would go with a cutting board. Another gift that I've given, I've never had one for myself, but if anybody ever wanted to give me one, I would love it, is a bonsai tree growing kit. Okay, I'm Gen X and grew up loving the Karate Kid and that scene of Mr. Miyagi trimming his little bonsai tree and the concentration, that's a core memory for me. And I've always had this romantic vision of cultivating and growing a bonsai tree. And I'm sure people my age and maybe some of you have those same emotions and connections when you think of bonsai trees. And so that's why I think this is the perfect gift for somebody. If you wanted to add something else to the bonsai tree kit, you could add a little mist sprayer if you wanted to add something like that. Number 10 is a super random gift, but I think everybody in the world should have one. And it's a mini egg pan. I never thought I would want something in the kitchen that serves such a solitary purpose as cooking one single egg until I had one of these. Actually, it was my grandfather's and he passed away and I thought, yeah, I'll take that. I use this thing all the time. It makes a perfect round egg, cooks it perfectly, fits on my muffin. <laughs> I can't actually imagine not having this little baby pan. And it gives me such pleasure and joy to use it. I kind of feel like I'm maybe a giant when I use it. So it's just super fun because I feel like I've got a little baby pan and look how big I am and this pan's so little. I think this one would be fun to pair with either some salsa or salt and pepper, or maybe you do have chickens. I know a lot of my friends do, and you could pair it with some fresh eggs. Gift idea number 11 is super practical. I use mine every day. It is an oil sprayer. So this would replace a Pam or something that uses a propellant to spray oil out of a canister, which is terrible for you. That's like poison. And so this works by just using a pumping action to evenly coat a pan or anything that you're cooking in. I actually tried a couple different versions of this before I found this one, which I love. It sprays evenly, it doesn't get gunky, super easy to use. Anyone on your gift list is going to love this and think of you every time they use it. And of course, the way to enhance this gift would be to pair it with some locally sourced organic olive oil. Number 12, the milk frother. Again, I think this is a great standalone gift. I use my milk frother all the time. Now this is not going to break up big chunks of solid food. This is only to mix liquids, but it aerates it and it's fun to use and it does a great job. But it also works really well as an accessory gift if you wanna give someone something that you know they're going to enjoy. For example, hot cocoa mix this time of year, or maybe they're into their 
health and nutrition and you want to give them protein powder or mushroom powder or something that's gonna give them health benefits and this could be tied on with a little bow on the side. Again, it also works as a standalone gift because I think it's so useful and so fun. Okay, each of these are under $20 and I can't even show you how they work because I'm filming on my phone. <laughs> but I'll see if I can describe it. This magnet attaches to the back of my phone and it's a suction cup. So it makes it so I can attach my phone to any flat surface. So this is awesome for taking selfies. What I use it for every day is watching YouTube videos. So I'll put this on the back of my phone and stick it on my bathroom mirror. And while I'm doing my makeup or brushing my teeth in the morning, I've got YouTube videos and it's like I've got my own little TV in the bathroom. I love this thing and I use it every day. This is what I keep on my phone most of the time. And it's again, is a magnet that attaches to my mag ring. And this little ring right here, I usually keep on my finger just like this. And so if you see me walking around like this, my phone's on the other side, but it also works as a stand. So as you can see here, it can stand my phone up and I can move it around so that maybe I want it a little bit higher depending on the angle. So it works as a little stand for my phone, a way for me to grip it and look at the jewels. I mean, is this not the cutest thing ever? I get stopped all the time people see this and they ask me about it. I cannot recommend this little ring stand enough. I love it so much and I think it'd be a cute, perfect little gift for anyone. But of course, both of these work with magnets, so you wanna make sure they have the phone case with the magnet on the back. If you wanna enhance that gift with something, maybe give them a phone. Just kidding, that's a big gift. Number 14, I had never seen before. My daughter got me these for my 50th birthday and I didn't know what it was. She had to give me a demo. These are book holders. You put your thumb through them and then it acts like a second hand and all of a sudden holding a book in two hands is easily held with one hand. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just gonna have to insert the footage here. But one, I think they're so pretty. They have dried pressed flowers in them. They come in a whole bunch of different designs but two practical. Once I figured out how it worked, I've been using these every night when I read and I love them so much. And of course, if you wanted to add something to this gift, again, I think they're perfect as a standalone gift, but you could add in your favorite book, a book that I have on my bookshelf, but I hear it's been a tremendous book this year and everybody's raved about it. Everyone I know who has read it has loved it is called The Women. So that might be just a recommendation that you could add if you wanted to give something additional. Another gift for a book lover is this over the neck reading light. And as you can see here, it rests on your neck and creates light and it's got different levels of light and you can flex it open or close or angle it up or down. It's got a lot of flexibility. For the price, it's pretty amazing. I've had this for several months, haven't needed to charge it yet. It does have a USB charger, but this is great if you're reading in bed, maybe your partner's trying to sleep, or maybe you don't have access to an overhead light and you just want some more light over your book. Maybe you're on vacation, and you don't wanna disturb people and you're in a shared space, whatever it is. This creates direct light onto the book that you're reading. It's useful, practical, and I love it. Number 16 is another gift that I've given a few times and it's a mini Zen garden. This is something that can be used for relaxation and meditation, but it's a little bit of sand with a little rake and you can create designs in it. And I just think this is such a nice, sweet gift that anybody would like because who doesn't want to arrange stones and rake designs in the sand and feel again, like you're a giant with a little baby garden that you're tending to that just is on a little tray. Who wouldn't want a mini Zen garden to just play with? I think these would be great for an office coworker because they can have it on their desk and just kind of play in the sand while they're on a call instead of mindlessly doodling. It kind of has that same effect of working your body while you're processing and listening. Gift number 17 is perfect for someone who gets warm and it's this little portable fan. Look, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So if it's someone that is going through that season of life or maybe just in a warmer climate, actually this feels really good right now. <laughs> but look how cute this is. It has little ears and eyes. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a pig or a bunny or something. Not only is it a portable fan, it also is a flashlight and it's a power bank. So I always take this one when I travel to a warmer climate, but I think it's perfect for anyone that just needs a little cooling. If you know someone that takes plane trips often, this is gonna be a game changer for them. It looks a little weird and it's making some weird sounds, but this hooks into the seat in front of you and it's a mount for your phone. If you've ever seen anyone on a plane holding their phone up or looking down 
or setting it on their tray and looking down the whole time, that can ache your neck over a long flight if you're constantly looking down at your tray. It hooks into the seat back in front of you and brings your phone up to eye level, which is much more comfortable to watch for a long period of time. I saw someone using this on a flight maybe a year or two ago and I added to cart and bought before we took off. If the person that you're gifting to does not have a purse hanger for their car, they need to have one. Everybody should have one of these. This is a little hook that connects to the headrest of the car and creates a place for you to hang a purse behind you in the car and it's a game changer. I think a lot of people don't actually have one of these and once they receive it and start using it, they're gonna be so grateful to you. Before I had one of these, I would just throw my purse into the front seat. Well, that's fine if I'm traveling alone, but if there's somebody in the front seat with me, I've got my purse like in my lap or it's sitting on the floor and then I need something out of it and I can't find it. So when it's in that back seat hanging, I always know where it is. It's not flying. It's not getting in somebody's way. It's the perfect place for it. And item number 20 is so game changing for anybody you know who travels and doesn't have one of these. I do a fair amount of traveling and I just got one for the first time this year. And I don't know why I waited so long. It is a luggage scale. I've always thought, I don't need one of those. I'm just gonna go stand on my scale and see what my weight is and then hold my suitcase and see if I can get around my toes and see down below or have somebody else come up and read what the scale says. You know, hey, Nick, come and read what the scale says with the luggage on it. I've always just thought, why would I need an extra gadget? Okay, I can't believe how long I waited to get one of these. It's so useful. It's so easy. It's so quick. I can do it by myself. I don't need to have someone come up and read the numbers on the scale. I don't know why I waited so long. Anyone that you know who travels is going to love this. And why? Because once you hit 50 pounds, you have to pay that extra surcharge and nobody wants to do that. So this is a way to measure the weight of your luggage before you travel. And basically you just turn it on and then you put your luggage on the bottom, you lift it up and it tells you the weight of it. I don't even know how it works, but it works amazing. For those last items, because they're all kind of travel related, potentially you could pick two of the four and give them together as gifts or three of the four. Or if you know they have a specific trip coming up, you could give it to them along with something that's more specific for that trip. I hope you got some good ideas from this list. Let me know what you're most excited about, either for yourself or somebody else. And if you'd like to keep watching, YouTube recommends this other video of mine and I'll see you in the next one.